Welcome back to the PX Grid Developer video series. In today's video, we'll be going over how to create and execute valid and invalid session queries on PX Grid. The session queries stem from the identity model's session capability. A common use case is that an administrator may be interested in a particular session, but they know very limited information and want to get more. Through PX Grid, we can query ICE using this limited knowledge and get more details about the session. Okay, so I've created a new file called session query. It has the same structure as the session subscribe file we made earlier, but I removed the portion in main where we subscribe to the session topic and register the notification handler. I've also removed the handler class, but other than that, the file is a carbon copy of the session subscribe file. Before we go about creating and executing our query, we need to make sure our main thread waits for the pxgrid connection thread to connect to pxgrid before doing anything. To accomplish this, we create a listener class and attach an instance of it to the grid connection object. This class should implement the listener interface that is part of the grid connection package. As you can see, we have a series of connection related methods that are required in this interface. They will be fired based on the respective action. There is before connect, on authorized changed, on connected, on deleted, on disabled, on disconnected, and on enabled. Use these methods to have your pxgrid application handle events generated by the pxgrid connection object. In this example, we are only concerned with the on connected method. Once this method fires, we know that our connection to pxgrid has been established and we can proceed with our query. Let's create a boolean flag that we can flip once the connection is, is established. Now that our listener and flag are ready, let's attach them to our grid connection object in main. The add listener method lets us pass in an instance of our listener class. Now we need to add a loop after we start the reconnection manager to wait for our boolean flag to flip to true. If we run this now, we'll see the pxgrid client's main thread waits until the connection is made. Now let's add our query logic. We start by creating a session directory query object from the session directory IMPL class. This class allows us to perform a variety of session related queries to the session capability on PXGrid. One of its methods is get active session by IP address. It does exactly that. We provide an IP address in the form of an inet address object, and then it returns to us a session object. We can then use the same print method from the previous video to print the session object.
Now that our client logic has been updated, let's go ahead and run it. It should show us that the session for IP 1.1.1.1 cannot be found as we have no live sessions running right now. There's the message. Cool. So now let's run our session simulator and then change our Java file to query one of the sessions produced by the simulator. Now when we run our client again, PXGrid takes our query to ICE, which then processes it and returns to us the relevant session. We now have a lot more information around the session just by using its IP address. The session directory query class also has a variety of other methods. Please check them out in the session query sample in the PXGrid SDK for other kinds of queries. In the next video, we'll be going over some other kinds of actions you can do on PXGrid. We'll focus on performing ANC specific actions, so stay tuned.